Well, Dad, as you can see, I've got the famous Mount Rushmore behind me. It is a quarter to eight in the morning, South Dakota time, on Wednesday, July, what day? 14th? 14th. And uh, my crew suggested I do this. It never would have occurred to me, but it's your birthday, and I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Now, first things first, I, I assume that you got the tape in the machine and pressed play. That's, that's number one because I know that you have a little trouble with it. Even though it, It's flashing 12 o'clock, but that's okay. As long as you press play, you're going to get this message. Um, so I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday in person. Uh, I hope you're going to go out and do something really fun tonight, and I'm looking forward to coming home in a couple weeks. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, yeah, Mom, don't flip out about my eyebrows. It was a little plucking accident. Nothing, no big deal. <laughs> my crew is laughing at me. Um, but we're in South Dakota, and we're going to shoot this, and then we're going to go do some interviews and dig up a T-Rex with some uh, paleontologists, which should be interesting. And then uh, we're going to go up to North Dakota tonight. I know I look tired. I haven't been sleeping very much. I've been working very hard. Um, and uh, then I'll be in New York this weekend, first weekend in New York in about uh, two months. And uh, I'm taking off the weeks of July 23rd and July 30th, and I will be home probably the week of the 30th. So, happy birthday, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. And I'm going to drink my coffee now. What about the gift? He's probably about curious gift? about his gift. Um, my crew is asking me about your gift. Um, but the problem is that you've bought out all of Spectre's. There's nothing left. So, I don't, I can't think of anything to give you. You should get a card in the mail, It'll be entertaining, uh, and I will have the gift for you when I see you. How's that? This is the gift for now, though. It's the first gift. I'm going to do a tilt down. Show them the whole outfit, huh? The whole outfit. All the way down the This Levi's. is my South Dakota outfit. The boots. The boots. You know, Bill O'Reilly warned me not to wear my stiletto heels in South Dakota because they would just sink into the ground on this archaeological dig and it would be really messy and I'd probably ruin a good pair of shoes that you gave me, Mom. So, got the jeans happening, the, the sweater, the State Police Academy shirt, courtesy of Chris Murphy. And, uh... And the denim jacket, it's just, it's the rugged look. I, you know, a Jewish girl from upstate New York, but I think I can put on a good act and fool these people. And they probably, couldn't I pass for a South Dakotan, Dave? I think so. I think so. Mark? Absolutely. John, Bill, Mike? <laughs> no, really, there are only, there are only three of us. Bye. I love you. Talk to you soon. Mwah. Bye.